Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Joseph from ScreenBite, and I'm here making a quick short video about my new keyboard, the Ducky Shine 5. Uh, bought this to replace my Black Widow Chroma. Um, so far, I had it for a few weeks now. Absolutely love it. Uh, everything from the build quality to the way the keys sound. Got myself those uh, Cherry MX Browns. Very quickly becoming my favorite switch so far. Um, but yeah, the reason why I'm making this video is because I scoured the internet for the first week or so of buying this trying to find a video lighting guide on how this keyboard works. Because unlike other keyboards out there, all the lighting is done within the keyboard. So, to make this video, well I thought I'd make this video um, so I can help new Ducky Shine 5 owners out there figure out how to use it. So, let's begin. So, to restart the keyboard, or basically factory reset it, you want to hold both start keys for three seconds. It'll flash white, and boom, you are now reset. As you can see, if you hit the num lock, scroll lock, things like that, the keys light up, which I find is a really cool touch. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, play around with some lighting modes. So. Everything is done between the function keys and I would say the caps lock as well. So um, to show what I mean, let's go ahead and first turn on uh, regular mode. So this is your uh, standard run of the mill row. If I want to increase the brightness on the blue, I hold the function key. These are red, green, and blue. It has seven steps of light. And then boom, we're fully blue. Uh, if you very quickly want to change between colors, you hold the function key in space, brings up the color palette mode, and uh, say I want my keyboard to be red. Now that matches my setup. But, it gets even crazier than there. Now, online a lot of people show these off. These are the different kind of lighting modes that each keyboard has. Uh, so for example, function F9 again brings you into a uh, breathing mode. If I want to speed up the breathing mode, I hit function, arrow right, and then boom. Now we're breathing. Boom. If I hit uh, function F9 again, it brings me into the slide mode. Let me see if I can raise this uh, lighting up a little bit. There you go. And uh, if I want to speed that up so you can see the effect a little bit better, it's moving. Uh, the cool thing about this mode is you can start adding in different colors. So say I want to add a little bit of red in here. Boom. Now I got red and blue going on, a little bit of a purple in between. Uh, it's a little fast for me, honestly. So slow that down. And then, boom. It's really, really cool. Uh, and this actually goes through every single function on this keyboard. So for example, uh, hit F9 again. This is this is a snake. So if I want to increase that brightness once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom! Full brightness. Uh, I can increase the speed. Really cool effect, honestly. I can make it purple. Which honestly, I'm actually going to get into that in just a little bit more, in a little bit. But as you can see, I have this weird effect going on right now. Uh, moving on, uh, this is a reactive mode, so. Uh, so it reacts as I type. Boom, I think if I put it this way. Yep, it stays on longer. I could probably even go even longer than that. Very reactive. <laughs> Next, we have a uh, circle reactive. So as you push it, you can see it reacting as I type. Same thing, I can change all the colors up. I want to be pink. We've got a little bit of purplish. It's really, really interesting. Uh, next, this is line reactive. So similar to the other reactives, it just uh, it reacts in each line that you push. 
same thing, you can change the color. All right, and then off. So back to lighting mode, and then it goes back to the red that I had it on, which is cool because it keeps it in its onboard memory. So uh, this being the Ducky Shine 5, it is also an RGB keyboard. So to activate the RGB aspect of it, you hit FN and F10, and then now you're in color cycling mode. This here is just your basic color cycle. It'll pulse between different colors. Of course, you can speed that up. Uh, and just like on the non-RGB, it pretty much has almost the same exact features, but in RGB, except this one has a waterfall effect. I really like this effect, actually. Hit up 10 again, and now you have a color snake. Now, the difference between this and the regular snake is as the snake goes down, It'll change, slowly change color and then completely change color at its final trip. Actually, it's a little fast. I'm going to slow that down. There you go. All right. And moving on, this is uh, the, ducky, the ducky lighting scheme. So basically, uh, this is the in-house only on the ducky keyboard. It's kind of like a little kind of like rain effect uh, where it's just like slowly pulsating, changing colors to different effects. Speed that up so you can see what it looks like. And then this is reactive but color, so you can see. Let me see if I can slow that down. All right, so as you can see, it just stays. Really cool. Uh, same thing. Um, color circle effect, uh, color line, color line, there we go, and off. And that's it for the basic lighting modes. Now this is about as far as I got online. After this, I uh, could not find anything else on how to individually customize the keys. Now, the way that works is that you have two commands on this keyboard where you can actually manually adjust. And to get to those, you actually hit FN, F11 for one of them, and then you want to hit insert and page up. Let's see if I can remember how this works. There we go, pause. Then you want to, this is where it gets different. So now that we're into this uh, color change mode, as you can see, the arrow keys are lit up. We'll change that in just a second. Let's see, I want a base color of red. So to do so, I hit FN, or sorry, no, hit caps lock, then F5, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I'm not sure if you can see that from the angle that I have, but just to kind of describe it, if you hit caps lock and then F5, which is the red key, it'll bring the caps lock to the red color. That's letting you know the color that you're going to be changing the board to. So, if I just start going boom, 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 and then boom, 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 boom and so on and so forth. As you can see, it's lighting up each individual key to the color of my choice. All right, so this red, this red, this red, this red. And I think that's about it for the red. So now I want every other key on here to be white. To do that, I once again hold caps lock and I'm going to actually Add in a little bit of green to make it fully yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And add in some blue. And now I have a solid white key. Now, if I put that into like my escape key, and I can change each individual color. And then boom, just like that, I'm back to where I originally started. Then you just want to let it sit for about 10 seconds while it just sets. 
and then whenever you uh, turn on the keyboard or plug it in, it'll be saved to this color preset. And of course you can do this for any color. Um, if you hit caps lock again, you can customize this as your heart content. Uh, for example, magenta. Boom. Super, super easy, super duper customizable. Uh, to be honest, when I first got this keyboard, I was pretty afraid that I wasn't going to understand the, how it basically works because uh, I'm so used to customizing everything in Razer software, but it's pretty easy. But um, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, I really hope that this video helped you guys out. Um, once again, if you really found it helpful, feel free to show it by hitting that like button down below. Um, as always, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe, as well as if you have any other questions about the Ducky Shine 5 in general, feel free to ask a question. You have yourself a great day.